Hey kids, this is James, the non-professional, back with another episode of Draw Draw Draw. And today we're doing Bugs Bunny, the iconic figure that is pretty much the lead over all the Looney Tunes, the entire Looney Tune universe. So, anyways, we're in some we're gonna do some roughs, and it's it's a fairly simple cartoon. Um, although he does have a lot of different parts to him. Um, the, the individual parts are pretty easy, uh, is, is actual, like his snout area or like his, his chubby cheeks and his snout and everything. All they are, are, is, is a very fat heart shape, uh, basically two circles or two, uh, ovals, you know, and of course the, the top of his head where his eyes are, is it going to be another oval? So you got three sort of ovals, you know, two ovals in a V shape and one big oval for the top of his head. Anyways. I did my research on uh, the Looney Tunes here, and surprisingly, I, I looked up, I googled, you know, top 10 most famous cartoons, and, you know, I, to my surprise, it wasn't Mickey. I thought Mickey would be like the most, Mickey Mouse would be the most popular cartoon, but it was actually Bugs Bunny, and I was like, hmm, because honestly, I mean, rec I haven't heard a whole lot about Bugs, you know, you know recently but he is coming out with a new movie um they're doing another space jam for those who don't remember the original space jam in the 90s had like michael jordan in it and this one's got uh of course all the looney tunes cast and the you know the human character i guess is going to be lebron james all right so we've been in lines for a minute um go ahead and tighten up those lines and just pin down some definitive details the hand you're going to want to draw in uh separate sections the pinky and the uh, palm, the half of the palm, you want to draw first. And then, of course, the thumb and the other half of the palm. And then you're just going to get those fingers just sort of protrude from the palm there. Now, you can see that I, I made, you know, I, I went ahead and took the whole picture and I made Bugs skinnier. Because one of the main characteristics of Bugs Bunny is that he's tall and slender. He's not your typical, you know, pudgy, cute bunny that you see on a lot of cartoons. He's... Oh, he's tall and slender and lanky and, you know, just very flexible. Oftentimes when I was Goog when I Googled bugs just to get a good reference picture, uh, he would, you know, he'd be laying on his back and, you know, and, you know, legs crossed, whatever. It, it, he, he contorts himself pretty well. And he, like I said, he's just a very f lanky, little flexible character. All right. So let's do some inks and uh, we're going to make these lines super tight. Uh, so those little rims, I guess, around his wrists is because he's wearing these big white gloves. And, uh, man, you, I, I should have used stencils, but I didn't uh, for those little rings around his wrist. That's why those rings don't look so great. You know, and, you know, the the left arm, the rings on the left arm are bigger than the ring, ring on the right arm. And I don't know. I didn't go back and correct it. I guess I should have. But, you know, this was actually a really, really quick drawing. So, and it turned out. You know, I, I liked it, you know, um, typically when I do something this fast, you know, there's a lot of things that you know left to be desired, but no, this one, this one I liked a lot. So I did, uh, keep messing up on his teeth, his teeth, they taper at the bottom. They don't just go straight down and they definitely aren't like buck teeth where they're like wide at the bottom. They go, they, they point down kind of like a beaver's teeth, you know? All right. So we're going to do some colors and. It's flat colors. Just if you've seen the cartoon, it's all flat colors too, and it's really easy. I mean, all he he's com he, he's comprised of three colors: gray, uh, pink, and white. That's all he is. So he got gray for his fur, and then you know white for his snout and the fur that goes, I guess, sort of down the middle of his 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 chest and his belly. And lastly, you have the color pink. And pink is what you're going to color the inside of his ears. And that little button nose that he's got just above his, you know, his buck teeth. And that's it. That's that's all his colors. You are going to see the entire background go yellow. Because I went ahead and, you know, filled in the white spaces with an actual white color. It's like a really, really off, off, off white. But it's there. And I couldn't see the, you know, where I was coloring until I colored the background yellow. So here we go. So you're going to see me doing the white there. Um, guys, go ahead and do your due diligence with regards to your artwork or anything that you do. You know, don't don't take shortcuts. Because I could have just left it white and just left the background white and it had been done. But, you know, having a yellow background is is very, you know, it's very Bugs Bunny. You know, it just, it makes him stand out more. And, of course, it's, you know, it's Easter. So you got the bunny and the yellow and the pink. And, hey, 
so yeah you know, i mean it's every color that easter is represented by easter i just i should have just made everything in pastels or something but anyways hope you guys enjoy the video always remember your three p's persistence patience perseverance that's how you grow Hey guys, if you like my content, please like or comment below. And if you want regular updates, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.